Hello everyone, um, I am now up at Mount Mitchell uh, State Park, as the sign says, Summit two miles ahead. So, see what, uh, see if the extended park from uh, Little Switzerland 226A uh, area on Blue Ridge Parkway will be worth the uh, overlook. I really don't think it'll uh, disappoint though, because the drive up here about the five mile drive up on this uh, park road it's been uh, really interesting but kind of distracting at the same time because the last thing you want to do on something like this is have an accident because if anybody does find you you're going to be pretty messed up so biggest thing on rides like this is to pay attention to uh, where you're going as much as possible and uh, look at the scenery save that for the pull offs don't want uh, some recreational activities to mess your life up. Uh, it's supposed to be fun, not ruin. So, Mount Mitchell State Park restaurant, fine food, beautiful views, and gifts. So, do we go this way? I have no idea. Yes, it's as good as mine. I think I'm going to go on up at Summit. I said two miles ahead, so I didn't say something that way. We'll see. Bunch of Harley guys enjoying the view. Of course, they just went that way behind me. So maybe they've already been up to Summit. Or that is the Summit. I have no idea. Just to find out, I guess. Although I can see a building from here, and that might be the Summit. I don't know. Y'all are just long for the ride with me like I am. Cause that's a good thing about this exploring trips like this. You never really know what you're going to get into. Um, sometimes uh, might be a few things that mess your trip up along the way. But you just have to see. I don't know what this is. I have no idea. Big building. Private drive. Do not enter. Maybe this is it. camping area what in the world I have no idea still going up so I'm guessing this is still the summit road to go up to the top see I guess I don't know great big June bug or something just hit me in the arm that didn't feel too so good can't imagine how bad that would hurt without a coat It's an awful lot of roadkill today. I guess so, so much traffic holiday weekend, I guess. Gravel on the road in here. Probably where somebody ran off the road a little bit. That happens. It's part of it. You gotta watch out for that stuff. You know, when you're driving a car, you don't really think about that kind of stuff. But you run over some gravel on a bike and if you're not going very fast, it'll kind of just make the bike kind of wiggle and unsettle a little bit. And it's uh, first few times it happens to new rider. I know when it happened to myself uh, last riding season, it was a little unsettling. I was like, "What in the world was that?" But that's just things you got to get used to and uh, take the good from the bad, so to speak. Also, uh, road expansion joints and lines in the road where they repave the road and um, lines and stuff like that are. Um, can be a little tricky. Even some uh, alligator strips, as some people call it, like this right here, but it's not big enough to matter. Uh, the road is barely damp. That part's still wet and the rest of the road's dry, so that can be kind of slick because it actually gets that tar material uh, kind of wet. You don't really know what it happens. Wet grass, people mow their gra grass on the very edge, like this right here that's been mowed, and then mowed out in the road. Uh, that's pretty slick to drive over. Um, just all kind of stuff uh, you just have to get used to entering parking area 10 miles an hour okay maybe this is the crest sure looks like it picnic area trail all that stuff it's just just parking area or where's the summit I don't know why everybody be parked away down there I really have no idea what I'm doing here of course, this goes on around, so maybe the peak is at top. I don't know. Um, still parked.
parking, keep right, okay. Yeah, this is a crest. The sign says elevation here, 6,578 feet at the side. It's been a really enjoyable trip up here <coughs> today. Yeah, I think I'm going to park over here closer to it. That way, if I get away from my phone with y'all, it won't, it won't drop a video. Well, if I had to hit the right button, that would help, not the horn. I pay attention to what I was doing, watching where all the stuff around me. Good grief, that's pretty. Hmm. Still kind of some fog lifting up off the mountains and stuff up here. So, anyways, guys, catch you guys later. That's about all I've got for this video. Um, maybe pick it back up on the Diamondback 2-2-6-A two two in North Carolina. See ya.